Hello, uh, this is Gabe. Uh, this, uh, one of the machines that I use when I do small jobs is the Grapple Magnum X5. Uh, this is one of the machines that if you don't want to use your $2,000 machine, uh, you could go get at Home Depot for a really good price, under $500. Uh, it'll last you, I mean, sometimes up to six months using daily. If you take maintenance, you do the maintenance uh, regularly. Uh, so today what I'm having problems is, is the, the machine ain't priming correctly. I'm going to turn it on just so you can see. And uh, I got a bucket of paint and just an empty bucket. And as you can see, it's, it's not priming correctly. So uh, what I'm going to do today is show you one of the tricks on how to fix this problem. Uh, hopefully, Grackle sees what I'm teaching you guys and maybe send me a bonus check. LOL. Just kidding. All right. So what we're going to start off right now, first, you got to turn off the machine. And... Uh, we're gonna turn the machine upside down just a little bit. And what you're gonna encounter right here is a hose with a clamp. And this hose usually has like a rubber little clamp that you just pull right off. Make sure that you got a tarp or something so the water doesn't run off. Uh, but you're gonna need a crescent wrench. And uh, we're gonna take this little fitting right off. All right. Sorry about that, I'm a little blind. All right. There we go. One more time. And let's hit this. Man. All right. Just a little bit more. It's a little bit tight in there. I just put a brand new oil ring the other day, but it seems to get flooded very easy, especially when you shoot shellac. So uh, when you take this off, Make sure you have your o-ring right here make sure it's good looks good uh, you want to tilt your machine upwards and a bearing comes off and a little a little spring should come off so we got the bearing here and uh, make sure then there's a spring if you can see it's really small it has a little bit of tension, so that's a good thing. So you don't want to lose this right here. And uh, usually I just get a rag and I put a screwdriver and kind of just clean it off a little bit. And that should do it. A little bit of paint came out of there, so that's a good thing. So the way that I put these uh, springs back in is I usually get a small or a very thin screwdriver. I put the spring right in there and as you can see, uh, that way I don't lose it. So even though it's hard to see, the spring is right there, right in up this. And um, I'll flip the machine up again. And I'll put the screwdriver in. And it fits right in place. After I do that, uh, I get the bearing. And the bearing goes right in. Usually it sits where it's supposed to be as soon as this fitting goes in make sure that your o-ring is nice and clean which as you can see it's black it has no paint it's nice and clean so let's put this back on alrighty so we put that back on and now we're going to tighten it up you can use a crescent wrench or vice grip whatever you got uh, not too tight. You just want to snug it up. Remember, these machines are galvanized, so you just want to be careful of that. After that, uh, you want to plug in the hose right in. And don't forget your clamp. This clamp is made real easy. It's very flexible, very workable, so you just put it right on. Okay. All right, we're going to try priming the machine one more time and uh, see if it works. So we're gonna turn it on and see what happens. As you can see, the machine is working again and uh, this is the way you fix priming problems. This is Gabe and this is my Grackle Magnum X5.